Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to a very special Monday edition of the Pro Wrestling Report Primetime. Damian Nelson sitting here alongside David Octavius Tiberius, the alleged backyard one-time knockout straight edge hardcore Hall of Famer hero. Yes. And my God, we are just days away from Good WrestleMania. Well, we have so much great stuff going on. It's insane. It is insane, and we are bringing you a special edition of Primetime. All the way through Thursday of this week, each and every night, 5 p.m., whoa, brand new episode. Whoa, whoa. And then Friday, day this? Every, day? every day, and then Friday, it's a brand new Feedback Friday from Dallas. On Saturday, primetime from yes. Dallas, we're on Serious? TV. What are you doing? Right. Hold on, I'll let him know. Is that, Ms. Is that that Betty chick? That was Miss Betty. You are not going to believe this. I would, okay. MVP, you have hot news? MVP is going to be at the show. Montel Vontavious yes. Porter? We got a spot. Roll it. It's the biggest party event of WrestleMania weekend. WWE Hall of Famer Kevin Nash presents Shenanigans Dallas. Join Nash and friends, including Billy Gunn, Mean Gene Okerlund, Al Snow, ODB, and more for a VIP party event Friday, April 1st. Party with the biggest stars of wrestling in downtown Dallas to kick off WrestleMania weekend. Don't miss Shenanigans Dallas, hosted by Kevin Nash. Tickets are available now at pwrshow.com. That's pwrshow.com. Wow, that the MVP. Who, who knew? Apparently Betty did. Miss yeah, Betty. Miss Betty. Yeah. Is it Ms. or Mrs.? You know what? And, and here's the beauty of it. Linda Kay is a huge MVP fan, and he's going to be there. I she was more of a Kenny King fan. Well, it's because he's a stripper in Vegas. Linda likes strippers. Folks, WrestleMania 32 comes to us live from Dallas this Sunday, and we thought it would be interesting to discuss last year's WrestleMania from San Jose and take a look at the stars of that show versus the stars on this show. And as you well know, WWE has been nagged with quite a few injuries oh, over the last few I months. Need, I need to get a flow chart then because it's a completely different show here. So hold on, let me see. Who's what do you mean it's a completely different show? Oh, there's so many guys that aren't even here anymore. Well, how about you listen, and maybe I'll go through the names. And as you know, WWE has been oh, nagged with so quite you've done all this? a few injuries over Ooh, the last few months. <laughs> and even a big retirement in the form for of Daniel Bryan, who won the Intercontinental Championship last year at WrestleMania. Adding to the list of injuries are John Cena, who defeated Rusev, winning the United States Championship, Sting, who was defeated by Triple H, Randy Orton, who defeated Seth Rollins before Seth Rollins would go on and cash in his Money in the Bank briefcase to win the WWE Championship. Did you catch all that? So many words. So those are some big names who are out of action for this year's event. However, there are several names in play, if you will, that performed at the event last year, such as Triple Play, Dean, uh, Triple Play, Whoa. Triple H. What are you thinking? <laughs> Triple H, <laughs> Dean Ambrose, The Big Show, Dolph Ziggler, Stardust, and The Usos. However, one man who faced The Undertaker at last year's event does not currently have a match at WrestleMania. That's Bray Wyatt. Well, let's be honest. Bray Wyatt has injured. His back has been bothering him for a little while. And maybe he doesn't make it. Maybe he just does the Battle Royal. So, regardless of the injury, though, what would you say about Bray Wyatt's year going from being in a matchup with The Undertaker last year to John Cena, really not even John being Cena in a big enough program? That. Yeah. And now he might be embedded. Now, that could be due to injury, as you said, but he might be embedded in the 30-man uh, Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal, which is airing on the USA Network, which is cool. But, wow, what a journey. Or lack of a journey, if you will. But there's so many injuries. That's the, wait, When you lose five or six top Cena, guys. Cena, Orton, Sting, Bray Wyatt, as you mentioned. Rollins. R Seth Rollins. You know, all people who won titles. Or were in marquee Let's matches at WrestleMania last year, who is retired, yeah. And now won't even be participating. Something's going on with Daniel Bryan, by the way. He has, quote-unquote, requested personal time off from WWE. He is no longer appearing at Access. He's no longer, they were going to do a Daniel Bryan appreciation night at Madison Square Garden. That is no longer happening. He's no longer appearing on the UK tour as he was supposed to be. Uh, but I, I think that's because he, Daniel Bryan handled it well at Monday Night Raw. He For the may, company he did. He may have been sedated. And I think now that it's all kicked in, and he realizes that it's done done, double done, you know, it's a, it's a huge, it, it's a completely, it's life changing for him. Well, there was speculation, and granted, Daniel Bryan's words on Raw were, I think, heartfelt and sincere, but perhaps Daniel Bryan was, and maybe, this is speculation, David Hero, maybe he was 
forced into retirement, and maybe he's got some uh, second thoughts about that now. Okay, are you, are you going to do this here? I just did Go it Go ahead here. and say it. He signed with TNA. Go ahead. Oh, I hate, why? That's what everyone else wanted him to do. Go sign with Ring of Honor. Go with TNA. To work the indies. I think that Japan or Ring of Honor is a more viable oh, suggestion than yeah, ring, Japan, total nonstop action Japan. wrestling. If his neck is that bad, uh -uh. Daniel Bryan is just f trying to figure it all out, putting all the pieces back together again. But you know what? You're going off track. We're talking about the change in WrestleMania cards. Yeah, Daniel Bryan won the Intercontinental yeah, Championship yeah, in a ladder yes, match last year, yes. and now he's not on the card, so that's it's, sort of relevant. It's huge, and it's just there's so many guys missing. There's not enough pieces for the puzzle anymore. But let me tell you this. Let me mention this. Roman Reigns, folks, he fared best since last year's main event, uh, since last year's event, as he is again in the main event of WrestleMania. This the second year in a row for Reigns. So what does this say about Roman Reigns? He stays healthy. He's the only one, year to year, along with Triple H, who is in, and Brock Lesnar, I would say, who are in well, but, marquee matchups at WrestleMania. Brock is so part-time, he can't get hurt. Well, he and, could. and same with H. It, 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 anyone could always be subject Did to injury. Did you see how good Triple H looks? A guy that works 70, 80 hours a week, married, three kids. You've been watching his midnight workouts? He's a beast. You know, it's interesting. We talked on primetime this past Saturday night, David Hero, about the matchup that was to be between Sting and The Undertaker. That match was planned for this year, revealed by Sting in an interview last week, and the match he wanted, but his neck injury kept it from happening. So now we have Shane McMahon in the mix. I think they, I th I think they could have worked around it. I think Sting and Taker are both that good that they could have worked around that. Do you risk it? No, oh, of course you don't, but, you know... Would you rather have a match with Triple H where you look like where you look bad, or have a match with Taker where smoke and mirrors? Folks, looking back at WrestleMania 31, the landscape has certainly changed in WWE, and much of it was not by their choosing. One has to imagine what the card would be like if those who were injured were in play again this year. Could be a much more. Here's here's the thing about WrestleMania coming up on Sunday. Much like last year's card wasn't all that great going into it, remember? No, but it was, it was a great. It was a great show as a result because expectations were lowered. I think that we're in a similar situation last uh, this year where expectations are lowered and people will have the opportunity to shine on the biggest show of the year. As JR said this past Saturday on primetime and last week on primetime as well, you got to step up and somebody can take that brass ring, I guess we'll say, for lack of a better term, and become Mr. WrestleMania. Who would have thought Sin Cara and Zack Ryder would have matches featured on WrestleMania? It's not Sin Cara. Is it Sin Cara? Sin Cara. Uh -huh. Yeah, they're, are they in the, they're in the, the letter match? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Who else would it be in a black mask? I'm sorry? He's in a black mask. He's doing the whole Black Panther gimmick right now. <clears throat> not, not the racist Black Panther, the Marvel Comics Black Panther. See where you go with everything all the time? You need to hang your shovel up on the wall. You don't put a shovel on a wall. Yeah, you do. Where else do you put it? You put it in the garage or in the shed. On the wall, on the nail. Folks, tomorrow night, it's yet another edition of Primetime where we are going to take a closer look at the 2016 Hall of Fame class, including more discussion on the induction of the Freebirds by the New Day. For that one, this is Damian Nelson saying we'll see you tomorrow night, 5 p.m. Central Standard Time again, right here on Fight TV was for this, another edition of Primetime. Was this E4?